Good morning. I'm Jill Rockledge, and I am both a parent and a parishioner that has blessed, been blessed by the gifts Mr. Andre has shared with our school and parish community. And I'm Taylor Rockledge, a fifth grader at HM. I've been part of the parish's children's choir as well as our parish's three musical productions. Mr. Andre, over these last 10 years, you've given countless hours to our music ministry. Your passion for music is contagious and has trickled down even into our youngest disciples here at AJ. You have brought the love of music into our worship space and we are forever grateful. You have encouraged us to use our musical abilities to show our love for the Lord. Through school mass, weekend mass, or one of the three musical productions, Song of Mark, Encounter, or Full of Grace, we have all been touched by a piano. Whether we were in the choir, a part of the production, or in the pews, we have been blessed by your musical creativity. Thank you for all you've given to us here at HA. Your energy and sincere love for the Word of God set to music will not be forgotten. From our entire school community, we wish you God's love, good health, and many blessings in your next chapter in life. Let's just see. I've had the opportunity to get to know you as my neighbor down the hallway of life. Holly's love of, love of reading and her desire to share that love is apparent as soon as you meet her. Her breadth of knowledge is incredible. She can name any book or author without hesitation. Her ability to understand where a student's interests and ability lie is amazing. She is able to make personalized recommendations for students based on this information, and she, she has fostered a love of reading in many students throughout her time here. There have been countless times I've walked past the hallway and got a glimpse of a class full of children's eyes captured in a story that Mrs. C so perfectly delivers. She leaves a legacy of a dedication and commitment to learning and to a passion for reading. Mrs. C, enjoy your retirement and the time you will get to spend with your beautiful family. We will miss you here at Holy Apostles, but you can be confident that you've inspired a lifelong love, love for a good story in your students, an imagination that will travel everywhere with them. Good luck, and God bless you. Hello, my name is Julia, 
or as Mr. Benny used to call me, Julia DeAngelis from East of Los Angeles. <laughs> I am beyond privileged to be here today as a student from Mr. Benning's first class at Holy Apostles some 14 years ago. I first met Mr. Bennett when he was an aide for my kindergarten class with Mrs. Hurley. I remember him helping me count little beads in the shape of ghosts, encouraging me to keep counting, insisting that I knew more numbers than I thought. Having him as my first grade teacher the next year was a blessing far greater than I could have ever imagined. My brother and sister and I all had the privilege of having Mr. Bennett as a teacher, and he has left a permanent mark on each of our lives. He showed us a love for learning and instilled lifelong values that have extended far beyond his classroom. You don't know how many times, even in college, I have used a spider web to start my papers. His passion and love for learning rubbed off on every student that has walked through his door. Mr. Bennett never failed to make our day a little better, from quiet time with Jesus to science classes taught in a white lab coat. Mr. Bennett, you will be greatly missed by every student that has ever had the privilege of meeting him. Thank you for all you've done these last 15 years for the students of Holy Apostles. I wish you well in your retirement, and I hope you leave knowing the everlasting change and impact you have had on your students. I cannot thank you enough. God bless. I'm Amanda Gomez. My husband Andy and I have five children. Four are at HA. Luke had Mr. Bennett two years ago, and Felicity is in his class this year. Many of you know the transition from kindergarten to first grade can be a little tricky. Uh, first graders have a crazy amount of energy inside them. Uh, so much is going on around them, especially in today's world. The steady voice, genuine smile, order, and sense of calm that Mr. Bennett has provided to countless kiddos and their families is truly a gift of God. I have many stories I consider sharing of ways that Mr. Bennett has met Luke and Felicity in their challenges, but I will keep it at, if you are familiar with parent contact, uh, there's no better teacher or friend to help you through it. He is an amazing person who can help, I feel, any kid push through any challenge and overcome. I can honestly say he is an extraordinary person who has shown up with his best foot forward not just for the students, but also for parents. I left many conferences saying to my husband, I really need to be more like Mr. Bennett. <laughs> His patience, wisdom, kindness, humor in the classroom, and ability to scaffold learning are such an inspiration, and they are witness to his beautiful character. One night when Felicity was reading, she paused at a word and asked for help. The word was high, H-I-G-H. -H. I said, oh, that's high. The G and the H are silent for some reason. I have no idea how to explain why. And she goes, oh, that's the German G-H. Mr. Bennett taught me that. And she's never stumbled on the silent G-H again. So when you think of all the kids who have learned to read, and not just that, but also organize their decks, you wonder, how much of an impact has this man made in the amount of time that he's been here? It's countless. It's an amazing uh, gift to all of us, and we are so blessed to have you in our community. So thank you, Mr. Bennett, for being a constant for our kids and for all of us. Godspeed in your next chapter, and hopefully that can be slow at times. Relax a little, take some deep breaths, enjoy that flowers and your family. And thank you, thank you, thank you for being here with us. Good morning, Holy Apostles community. Today we celebrate the happy retirement of three of our favorite teachers and our talented musical director. It has been the greatest pleasure to teach alongside them, and while I call them all colleagues and friends, one holds a very special spot in my heart. Twenty-five years ago, I was a first grader here. About halfway through that year, we were told our teacher, Mrs. Poggles, would be leaving. And while they say certain people come into our lives at, right, at the right moment, and that it's a gift from God, and that's exactly what you were to Holy Apostles, Mrs. Bergen. You came and finished out the year with 30, yes, 30 first graders, and I feel so blessed to have been part of your first class here. Over the years, hundreds of students have passed through your room, 
and each one of them has left us a new person because of that. You care fearlessly for every single one of your students, and you have the patience of a saint. Our school will feel a little emptier because of your leaving, but our minds are richer because of your wisdom, and our hearts are fuller because of your love. We have been so fortunate to have you in our lives, and we've been shaped by your compassion, humor, and willingness to go that extra mile. You deserve all the enjoyments that come with retirement. So Diane, thank you for being a friend, a fashionable colleague, and above all else, thank you for being my teacher. Good morning. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Michelle Gutierrez. My five kids have all gone to Holy Apostles. My youngest, Ellie, will be in middle school next year. It is a privilege for me to recognize, honor, and thank oh. Mrs. Bergen for all of her years of service. Her professionalism and dedication to our school, school, plus her setting a solid foundation for learning while having fun, have impressed me for the 17 years I've known her and been a part of our school community. I first met Mrs. Bergen at Parent Back to School Night in September of 2005. My oldest, Danny, was in her class. I walked into the classroom and was met by a sharply dressed, friendly, and warm woman who immediately impressed me with her firm, business-like handshake and greeting, I'm Diane, who's your child? Also, as the night went on, I was impressed with how put together and organized she was plus the fact she had five kids at home. I think all pretty close in age and teenagers, if I remember correctly. Wow, I thought, she is impressive. Little did I know at that time that I also would become a mother of five and that all of my kids would be so lucky to have Mrs. Bergen at the beginning of their school career here at HA. Her professionalism that night and through the years, it's quite remarkable. As my kids got a little older, I was lucky enough to help in her classroom when Ellie was in first grade. It became even more evident that she was just as organized with the kids and had patience that never ended. Thank you, Mrs. Bergen, for your dedication to all your first graders and to our school. What also impressed me about Mrs. Bergen was the foundation she set in first grade for all the learning in the years to come. They knew how to behave in school, what to expect, and what it meant to be a student. My children had the neatest handwriting in first grade, forming their letters and numbers correctly, top to bottom, perfect circles, I kid some of mine often that I'd like to send them back to you for a refresher course. <laughs> they learn to spell and read and do math and about God and our faith. One of my favorite teaching moments was when Danny came home and had not passed the sign of the cross test. What? I was pretty annoyed. Do you remember me contacting you, Mrs. Bergen? We had been praying with him since before or he could talk. How could he not have passed the test? When I questioned Mrs. Bergen about it and found out he hadn't said in the name of the Father and the Son, but instead, name of the Father, Son, I thought, ah, yes, he wasn't doing it correctly. Thank you for all your attention to the details that help them become better learners. And how much fun was first grade with Mrs. Bergen and Mr. Bennett, you know Mrs. Bergen has to have a good sense of humor, given she's been a Chicago Bears fan her whole life. <laughs> in fact, it was always a humorous time in our household when each one of our kids came home in first grade rooting for the Bears and the Cubs.
thankfully, that is one thing they did not take with them from their class at Mrs. Burton. As my older four reflected in eighth grade about what was so special about their years at Holy Apostles, first grade and Mrs. Burgett were always mentioned. Beach day, Thanksgiving feast, baseball day, lots of art projects, even their first weekly math and spelling tests. The kindness and respect they had for you was always evident. You will be missed next fall, Mrs. Bergen, when we walk through these halls and we don't see your smiling face. May God bless you and give you a retirement full of sunshine, relaxation, and lots of fun times with your husband, kids, and grandkids. Thank you for all you have done for all